It's Saturday, I think. I'm going to play guitar today. I thought I'd kick it old school, like when I first got started and play for all my friends and then my friend's children and, and then at Holy Family School in Lakewood, New Jersey. Um, and one of the songs I used to do with them, I have this book here. It's called The Marvelous Toy, and it's by this really great songwriter for kids, folk singer, Tom Paxton. Now, I'm not going to tell you what The Marvelous Toy is. I never told any of the kids in all these years. But what I do invite you to do is to go get um, a blank piece of paper and some crayons. And while you're listening to this song, I would like you to try to draw a picture of what you think the marvelous toy is. And when the song is over, I will show you the book. And if some of you want to take a picture of your picture and post it to my page, I would love to see what some of you think it looks like. Hi, Tiffany, nice to see you here. I was just a wee little gal full of help and toy. My father homeward came one day and brought with him a toy. A wonder to behold it was with many colors bright. The moment I laid eyes on it, it became my heart's delight. It went sip when it moved and pop when it stopped and whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was. I guess I never will. The first time that I picked it up, I had a big surprise. For right on its bottom were two big buttons that looked like big green eyes. I first pushed one and then the other, and then I twisted its lid. And when I sat it down again, this is what it did. It went sip when it moved and pop when it stopped and whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was. I guess I never will. It first marched left, then marched right, and then marched under a chair. And when I looked where it had gone, it wasn't even there. I started to cry, but my daddy laughed, because he knew that I would find. When I turned around, my marvelous toy ch -ch -ch chugging from behind. It went, sip when it moved, and pop when it stopped, and whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was. I guess I never will. Well, the years have gone by too quickly, it seems. And I have my own little boy. And yesterday, I gave to him my marvelous little toy. His eyes nearly popped right out of his head. And he gave a squeal of glee. Neither one of us knows just what it is, but he loves it, just like me. And it still goes, <gasps> sip when it moves, out when it stops, and whirr when it stands still. I never knew just what it was, I guess I never will. Oh, sing with me. It goes, sip when it moves, and pop when it stops, and whirr when it stands still. I never knew just what it was, I guess I never will. I never knew just what it was, I guess I never will. All right, what do you think it is? If we have some children in the audience that have been drawing pictures or have an idea, you can send me a note. I can read it along the side and see what you think it is. I can show you the marvelous toy. Here we have the 
father giving him a marvelous toy. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Let me put my guitar down over here for a minute. And I'll show you the book a little bit closer. Whoops. Sorry about that. It's the father and the little boy looking at the toy. And the little boy is like, wow, I love it. He had a big surprise for right on the bottom were two big buttons that looked like big green eyes. He pushed one, and then he pushed the other, and then he twisted the lid. This is what it did. It went sip when it moves, and pop when it stopped, and whirr when it stood still. I never knew just what it was. I guess I never will. It first marched left, then marched right, then marched under the chair, and it wasn't even there. And then what happened? It starts to cry. But Dad said, look, there it is. What's it do? Sip when it moves and pop when it stops and whirr when it stands still. Have you figured it out yet? Do you know what it is? Let's see. Years have gone by, guess what? The little boy is now a daddy, and he gave the toy to his child. Oh, and he loves it too. He loves it just as much. It looks like the cat loves it too. And no one really ever knows what the toy is. Hmm. I don't know. I've had children guess a lot of things over the year, and I look forward to finding out what things you might guess the marvelous toy is. Hi, Emery. Oh, Rebecca, hello. And Beth Williams. Oh my goodness, some, some friends popping back in. All right, so instead of singing mayor songs that I've written, um, I'm singing songs today that are public domain songs that children I've taught over the years have sung with me. And, um, hey Matt. Hi Lilikins, all big now. I wanna sing a song about a barnyard. And I'm gonna ask you to think about animals that are in the barnyard and send me a note telling me what animal you want me to sing about. If you send me that note, I will sing about that animal. <coughs> Into the crook of my elbow. <coughs> All right. I had a little duck by my barnyard gate, and that little duck was my playmate. And that little duck said, quack, 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 quack. Of course, Amory wants me to do a cat. What sound does a cat make? I have a little cat by my barnyard gate, and that little cat is my playmate. And that little cat says, meow, 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 meow. All right, I need another animal. Who can suggest another animal? How about you, Antonia? I see that you're there. Or Debbie Ingram, do you have an animal like me to do? All right, let me know. You know what? I'm gonna do a dog till someone else tells me another animal that could be on the farm. I had a little doggy by my barnyard gate and that little doggy is my playmate. And that little doggy says, woof, woof, woof. barnyard. Oh, I'm disappointed I'm not getting more suggestions. Do you not know what animals are in a barnyard? A horse. 
Well, my name is Mayor, so I should be able to sing about a horse. What do you think? I had a little horse by my barnyard gate, and that little horse was my playmate. And that little horse says, Nay, nay, nay. <sighs> nay, nay, nay. Oh, I need someone else giving me suggestions. Oh, Elizabeth Williams there wants a cow. Oh, I'm glad you didn't come up with an utter animal. Because <laughs> this one's really moving. I had a little cow by the barnyard gate. And that little cow is my playmate. And that little cow says, moo, 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 moo. All right, I see no more suggestions. So, unless Jean Flick will just join me, has a suggestion, or Heather, of an animal that could be standing at my barnyard gate making animal sounds and singing about all those animals. All right, let's see. I had some children by my barnyard gate, and those little children, each of my playmate, and those little children go, ah, oh, damn it, so it's fun, oh yeah, yeah, it's fun. Hi, Marla, you just missed it, but you know, I'm gonna stop this song unless one more person wants to come up with an animal that would be at the barnyard gate. Otherwise, we're gonna wrap this up. And Marla, I thought maybe, maybe that's why you joined. You wanted to tell me an animal at the barnyard gate. I had a little pig by my barnyard gate and that little pig is my playmate. And that little pig goes oink, 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 oink. All righty. Now, I wasn't sure what other song I wanted to do and play on my guitar. Some of you have heard me sing songs on my guitar and, um, You've had different songs over the years. So if you have one that you'd like to suggest for me to sing for my last song today, I would be happy to do it. Um, I have not done this one in years, and someone did request if I would sing Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, I'll give it a shot. And I know I have a, a friend, Merle, that he's, you know, like a, a really big guy. But he, this is his favorite song. And my best friend's daughters, whenever it was their birthday par parties, they would always ask me to sing this song for their friends. So, here we go. Puff the magic dragon Lived by the sea And frolicked in the autumn mist In a land called Honolulu. Little Jackie Paper Loved that rascal puff and brought him strings and sailing wax and other fancy stuff. Together they would travel on a boat with below sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whenever they came. Pirate ships would lower the flag when Puff brought out his name. Everybody sing, I can hear you. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Oh, this is the sad part. I never liked this verse. A dragon lives forever, but not so little boys. Painted things and giant wings make way for other toys. One great day it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. 
and up that mighty dragon he ceased his fearless roar his head was bent in sorrow green scales fell like rain puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane without his lifelong friend puff could not be brave so puff that mighty dragon he slipped into his cave oh puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called honolly puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called honolly now, you know, a lot of people found that ending not something they wanted to have as a memory. And I don't know all the words here, but someone went back in and made a verse about how Jackie Paper, he met a really good woman. And they had a little baby that they called Jackie Paper too. One day the new Jackie Paper went to the cave. Looked inside and he found a new friend he made. Out came Puff and he did roar. Because of new Jackie Paper, Puff was sad no more. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolly. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolly. And that is Puff. So those were the three songs I plan to do today. I hope that some of you draw your pictures of what you think the marvelous toy looks like. Um, and if there's a song you'd like to hear, I can hang here for a couple of seconds and see if anybody wants to request another song. Anne-Marie, I see you posted the unicorn, but to be honest, I don't think I remember all the chords um, from memory right now. So maybe I could do that one tomorrow. Maybe I'll do one song on my guitar tomorrow and two other songs for jumping around and having fun and getting our brain getting a break. Parents, if any of you would like to have some wine, cheese, and brain facts, please, you can sign up with me. Um, you can have a Zoom meeting. And while you're sipping your wine and snacking on some of your favorite cheese, you can ask me questions about what else can I be doing with my child while we're all home together. And I will give you some music activities, some STEAM projects that you can all do together that are a lot of fun. And I'll also give you all the information behind it on what it is doing developmentally for your child. So children and adults that tuned in today, thank you for watching. Please share, I'm gonna put this up on YouTube. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow at one o'clock. So bye, bye, see you soon, thanks for tuning in.